Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Monday, May 2nd, 2022. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Monday, everyone. Real quickly before we get to the charts here, I do want to invite you to join me to the monthly market outlook tomorrow, Tuesday, May 3rd at 4 p.m. Central Time. I will post the link out here tomorrow morning in the pre market video, but just a heads up, we will be doing that monthly market outlook tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, May 3rd at 4 p.m. Central. Please join me here. We'll be talking stocks, futures, crypto, and taking your requests. And we'll be looking to see if we can find a bottom in this market. Right now, looking at the ES in the daily time frame here, you'll see this market, again, currently trading on the lows of the recent trading range. Right here, you'll notice, again, um, major resistance, 4,600, 4,400, kind of that mid-pivot. And then you have... Uh, the 4200 level we've mentioned before, we're kind of going through that 41s right about here. So again, we're over here testing the lower boundary or lower edge of this larger range. And again, usually after a very heavy month of selling pressure, you may see a month that bounces back. For example, very heavy selling pressure here uh, in February, we saw a bounce back in March. Uh, very heavy selling pressure in January, a bounce back early uh, in February here. So again, Will we see a rejection of prices below 4100 for a short-term bounce back up, perhaps back toward 4350, uh, 4400, that midline? Because if not, we could be looking at a significant market structure breakdown that takes us much, much lower. So again, when you're looking at this chart here, uh, you know, from a higher time frame basis, price is giving up yearly, the yearly midpoint. And the only level left to test would be the previous year's low. That's still down there at 36.52 half, and that may still be the target left to go get. We have a major 4,000 4, level with S3 here for the year. That could provide a little bit of a bounce, but again, failure there, and we open up all the way down to the downside. So again, keep an eye on the previous month's low, previous month's close, which is also the previous week's key levels early this week to see how the market responds again we also have the FOMC meeting later on this week Wednesday we're gonna get ourselves another FOMC key level and we're likely going to see the rate decision influence the market in some way here so that could lead to some early volatility this week followed by some compression heading into the event and then late day volatility after that Thursday Friday and heading into next week so again a lot to look at here later on we also have NFP report on Friday so again the early levels to watch here as we head into the new week of trading the previous weeks low previous months low one in the same same thing for the previous weeks close those two very important key levels a rejection there and we bounce back up modestly which could still be sold for new lows but if we do not see rejection early it could be a very quick test at 4000 coming up if we take a look here at the NQ You'll notice here again, very weak price action. Uh, April was the worst month uh, that we've seen here since 2008, the financial crisis. Again, that's going to be a significant support level here if it cannot hold. And again, we're testing the previous week's close and low as of right now, sitting right on top of that level. A failure here, and you continue downward toward. 12 207 quarter that's the previous year's low so again this is a level that we mentioned early on that if price can't hold the previous month's midpoint or previous year's midpoint you're going to be looking at the previous year's low soon and very close to that level now hard to not see that level being tested at some point down the road so 12 207 big time key level that's the previous year's low that could finally provide an opportunity for the market to bounce and react because again, if not, we're starting to look at extensions and 11,000 would be the next one down. All right, let's take a look here at crude oil. Right now, crude oil down 3.5% here. Uh, again, this market is trading mostly between the 94 level and the 110 level. It's been chopping uh, around the previous month's flat line the entire month. Now we have a new flat line here trading at the previous month's midpoint. Notice. The previous month's range rather small, comparatively speaking. Uh, we could continue to trade back and forth. We also have OPEC meetings this week as well. We could be bouncing again between 
93, 94, and 110 before we see movement out of that range. So again, that's the range to watch. We're kind of in the middle of that range. So if we drop, it could be a small fade back up. If we rally, it could be a small fade back down. Taking a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin right now up about 8 tenths of a percent. Very modest gains here, but it's sitting on a significant area of support. That uh, 38K level right now been significant support. You can see right back here, this is also the January 26th FOMC key level has been support. Uh, we're coming into that level with a series of lower highs. And you can see it just hasn't been able to see a, a tremendous reaction off that level. We've mentioned before this is a big time area of support, but if it gives out, we could see a flash decline very similar to what we've seen here. That takes us back below 35K. Below 35K so far has been any price below that level quickly bought up for a return back up. But again, we're watching this significant area of support here. And as of right now, we continue to to see range bound action uh, despite the market looking very very weak again uh, Bitcoin has been one that has been mostly range bound and holding value here you can see v VWAP for the years mostly flat and again that would suggest a, a market that's in a range bound uh, formation here and if we come down a little bit lower here we could be bouncing back up within the range so again we might be a little bit off the lows here and one more flush could be enough to get this thing perhaps bouncing on a short-term basis. If we take a look here at ETH, ETH up six tenths of a percent, very similar price action to Bitcoin in that it is holding the 2800 level, which is support, downtrending market heading into that support with a shot at seeing a breakdown below. Uh, a return back to 2500 would offer another opportunity to likely look for a fade or rejection back toward value. Value right now 3050 and price has been chopping around value throughout the year. Again, another range bound market, but we are just off the low. So again, we might need one more push into this support before we start to see a bounce on a short term basis. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the week. Again, please join me tomorrow, uh, May 3rd at 4 p.m. Central for our monthly market outlook. And uh, everyone have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the trading room. Take care.